uh, tell me what you're feeling about this jump. Uh, how well, you Well, compared to Niagara Falls, <clears throat> there's definitely the adrenaline flowing. You can feel it. Um, the risk might not be as high, but I'm pretty excited. I mean, I'm not thinking a lot about it because if I do, I'll probably talk myself out of it. But um, just positive thoughts. I'm trying to visualize. How many jobs did you do before? We just uh, Niagara. Um, that was the first one, and that's uh, the one I knew that I liked the whole adrenaline rush <laughs> and the high risk and whatnot. Are you trying to do something uh, bigger than this? No, challenge? no, this is, I think, it's going to be the last one for me. I can't promise, never say never, but uh, for now. Because so it's, it's going to be scary. Everybody asked for some of the stuff afterwards anyway. So go to, Niagara. go to Niagara. Uh, what was it like in Niagara? It was you, a, were, you were listening to Pearl Jam? Kind and of scary uh, being in another country and all. So this one, exactly as before, doesn't have the high risk. So I know I'm going to be in my own country and I'm not going to be an undesirable. <laughs> and hopefully I won't have to go to maximum security. But uh, it'll just be a misdemeanor fine. Be on your way, stop your hand. Hopefully that's what uh, we'll be doing. Now, just describe the whole, pro in like 30 seconds, the process in Niagara. We're in the um, barrel, and we're going down the river and listening to Pearl Jam, I'm Still Alive. And Steve, are we there yet? I'm talking to him. He's telling me, Lush, put your regular back in. And about that time, he was like, right about now, and that's when we dropped. And um, it's definitely not being able to see. That's what this one makes it so much different, because you can, I can see it, and it's already going to be flowing rather than a complete rush all together when you just feel that drop where your stomach, you know, comes up to your throat and not even knowing, so you can't really compare the two. I think it's different. That's great. And uh, you can say to the women that they're watching you, like, try to jump or sure. I don't think so. It's not a guy thing or a girl thing. It's, it's just, it's yourself thing, you know? It's whatever makes you happy and whatever makes you tick. Everybody, that's why everybody's individuals. That's a good bite. Well, how about when you were stuck in the water for 90 minutes? Oh, up, no. Up we, were just, we could hear voices. We knew we were fine. Um, we didn't know exactly what was going on, so we're talking back and forth to each other. And Say it in a complete sentence. We were stuck in the water. In a, we were stuck in the water. Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. Do we it stuck, again. We were stuck in the water, and we could hear voices from the outside. So we knew we were fine. Um, it would just be a matter of time. And then, so we were just telling jokes back and forth and talking and waiting. That's all it was. How long were you waiting? 90 yeah. minutes, they say. So to the rescue? Yes. Oh, yes. So say that, we were waiting 90 minutes to be rescued. We were waiting, no, it was 90 minutes at the bottom before, you know, we were rescued. Steve was wanting to pop the top, and I was like, no, if we're safe, they will pop the top. I was like, don't even think about it. Pulling the hairs on his legs. <laughs> they, they arrested your rescue team, and the Canadians came and got you, yes, right? Yes, that's what I hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, I don't know. But uh, they pulled us out, and we went to the hospital. Got checked out, and then that's when they took us on our little merry way and uh, split us up. So four days after the fact, we, I was able to come back to the United States. And... How you doing? I'm Glenn. Uh, Wait, oh yeah, let me give me your spelling. Glenn. Glenn Rom, R O H M. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do today is jump off the Tampa Skyway. We did this back in 1990. We did a three-man pendulum swing tied to a, take a cable 230 feet long, tie it to a axle of a vehicle of some sort, walk down 230 feet, get up on the bridge, jump, do a pendulum swing. We did this back in 90, it was a big success. Now today, 1997, what month is, we don't know. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we're gonna jump off this bridge today, but uh, the conditions are a little different this time than they were last time. As you can see, it's real choppy out, it's about 30, 30 mile an hour hour winds. And I don't know if you can see the skyway from here, but it's gonna be pretty windy. Uh, this, this year, we're gonna do something a little different. One of us is gonna be wearing one of these helmet cams here. This way you can feel the real feel of it all. You can, on film, up close and personal. What we got here is we got a microphone in the side. You'll be able to hear all our yelling and screaming and all the cheering we do. And we got a camera mounted here on top. You get to see everything step by step in depth. 